Why does it rise? Well, I put on my push-up bra and I wait 30 minutes and it rises too. Okay. Baby, you just don't get physics. What's one third times four? One times four is four. Stop shoving it in my face. I don't want to see your balls like that. You're so awkward. I'm very comfortable. I am so comfortable right now. Welcome back to today's vlog. Today's vlog is going about a little bit differently for a multitude of different reasons. Let me start with a story. This is the story of my fiance's dramatic ass, which has landed us in this position today. My fiance woke up the other night and he said, Wow, babe. Last night I had a terrible dream. We were on a bus in Shanghai and the bus was held hostage by a gunman. Now my fiance for some reason also had a gun and then he decided, you know what Stephanie, I'm going to save you because this person is not here to rob the hostages. This person is here to kill the people on the bus. And he said, and this person's from my middle school. I know this person. And so he stands up in the middle of the bus. And, and he was a nice guy too in middle school. It happens, it. You, know, you know, we got along real well. We played that, balls and... We play balls? That's yeah. just weird. You play ball, like basketball. Yes. You don't say I play balls. And so my fiance decided to stand up in his dream in the middle of the bus and save the entire bus from dying because he killed the hostage taker. Now, a couple days later, as we're vacationing in Shanghai, we get kidnapped by a gang of people. Mm -hmm. They come and they say, listen, the only honorable thing you can do to repent for murdering our fellow gang member is to jump off a 30-story building. Mm -hmm. And he was outside the building. They were pushing him, pushing him, because they said that if you don't do this, we're going to throw your girlfriend off the building. And AKA, I say, go ahead. <laughs> AKA me. And so he almost jumped off the building for me, but then he woke up. And he said that he had one tear oh just God. falling down his eye. Did I say that? Yes, you did. You sure you it was? You said that multiple times. And for the next 48 hours, I had to hear about him saving my life in his fucking dream. So he woke up. He saved my life. He repeated this story to me multiple times to the point where I remembered it verbatim. And I did not hear the end of him saving and sacrificing himself for me for the next 48 hours. And then now, he is now reminded of how annoying that was. And so, in order to make it up to me of annoying me and harassing me about that dream, he is going to be cooking the dough. Today, we're going to be making Korean cheese balls. Korean cheese balls are actually very delicious. They don't really sell them anywhere in the US that I found of. Or What's the difference it. between that versus the corn dog? Isn't that the same thing? No, because the Korean cheese ball has a lot more air on the inside after you fry it. That's the so difference? So it's almost, imagine like a sesame ball, but it's like airy, crunchy, cheesy, fluffy, bally, mm -hmm. doughy. Ooh. I've tried a lot of alleged cheese balls from a lot of American restaurants. Um, most of them are packed with mac and cheese disappointing or some of them they just kind of taste they kind of just taste like a mozzarella stick but shaped into a ball but this doesn't taste like that the outside isn't like that flaky breadcrumbness uh -huh. it's almost like a smooth fried donut like which that. is smooth transition we are going to be making not only korean cheese balls not only korean cheese corn dogs but we are getting ambitious and we are going to attempt making korean cheese stuffed donuts these are all the ingredients that you're gonna need. So we did everything times four. So you're gonna need 100 grams of gluttonous sweet rice flour. S flour? Yes. <gasps> sorry, honey! Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You're gonna need 25 grams of all-purpose flour. What's the difference? There's, There's a, a huge, huge difference. difference. One tablespoon sugar, one eighth teaspoon baking powder. Baking powder. One fourth teaspoon salt. Salt. You have to mix it with a spatula. Okay. Should I fold? Is it mixed together? Yes. Now you add in the water. It should be hot though. One third cup times four. What's that? What's one third times four? Welcome to math class. One and one third. One oh, third four cup times, times four. four. One. That seems hot. Two, three, <laughs> four. Oh my god, that seems very hot, honey. I don't know if they want boiling water. Okay, now what? Hurry, quickly. It's cooking. Oh no, you mix it together with the spatula. Mix this together, right? Yeah. Okay. Also, another reason I'm not allowed to touch the dough right now is the past couple of cooking videos have been f***ing up. <laughs> so, I got 
child gloves on today. Wait, so. something's not right. It's not even mixing together. No, it's supposed to be very crumbly. So it should be so very it should crumbly. Look like this, like crummy. Oh yeah, that's yeah. me. You're that's crummy. you. That's you. And then you add in the butter. That how much? Four tablespoons. Four tablespoons. And then look at her hands. She's just kind of like squeezing it in. So, so it, we need four of these. Four tablespoons. Yeah. It Are went, you sure about that? Positive. She only did one. So one times four is four. Okay, so butter in and then just kind of knead it, did right? Did you do four? Yes, four of those. Just knead it. So I do this? Yes. It's really coming together. Quick question though, when am I done? When it's like all in a ball. All into a ball. Yeah, and then we saran wrap it and let it sit for 30 minutes to let it rise. See, that's something I don't understand. That sounds like some chemical stuff. Like, why does it rise? Well, I put on my push-up bra and I wait 30 minutes and it rises too, you know? Man, Maybe I... you just don't get physics. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Yeah, and then we saran wrap it and wait 30 minutes. And then it gets to the hard part, which is shaping it, cheesing it, wrapping it, balling it, frying it, eating it. Oh, bits. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> and just as a queen rises, I've been playing too much chess. <laughs> a doll has risen. Unfortunately, these dolls and these dolls have yet to rise, but it's only a matter of time. We are going to take out the risen doll and put in the wonderful cheese. This is your segue to be like, What's well, Stephanie? Where is the cheese? I don't see the cheese. Where is the cheese? Where is the cheese? Well, it's funny that you ask me exactly where the cheese is because I've actually put it in a special refrigerator for myself. I've actually color coordinated with my Juvie friend. <laughs> Today's video is actually sponsored by Juvie. And if you guys don't know about Juvie, I'm going to leave a link in the description. I've been into cosmetic fridges for quite some time. And this is the first time I've seen one that's cute, affordable, and does the cool and heating feature. You just open it up like this. Inside this beautiful cosmetics fridge, it is quite... White chili. I've got a face mist. I also like to put in a little roller in here. And if I'm feeling like I need a little snack during my skincare routine, I like to have some string cheese in here. Once I take it out, might I say that you can also add a little leveler. Wrong way, Stephanie. So that you can put in some eye cream, some moisturizer, have a double layer. And it's super convenient because, look, it's on the cool setting, but if you want to throw in some hot towels, whatever you guys want to do, it goes to hot. You can literally take this on the go, connect it with your car, still have a deep puffed face because if you add skincare into a cosmetics refrigerator such as the Juby, it deep puffs your face. It's amazing for eye creams, face mist, jade rollers, moisturizer, sunscreen. Here I've customized it to let you guys know that if you guys use the code Miss Mango Butt, you can get 10% off of your Juby cosmetics fridge. But if you're not trying to give 10% off to people for your Juby fridge, you can also write things like your step-by-step -step skincare routine. So thank you Juby for sponsoring today's video and also housing all all of my beautiful cheese. So now that we've got the dough, we've got our little scales, we're gonna put a thing, a plate on the scale. <laughs> Every dough ball should be about 20 to 25 grams. So I'm just going to start balling it out, I guess. Yeah, cut the yeah, cheese. Cut the cheese. Wow. Okay, so how many cheese do I use in each ball? Uh, just a square. Okay, that's useless information. Yeah, no, just a square. She didn't say. Okay, I don't know how much cheese am I supposed to put in each one. So what does she do? She roll it into a ball or no? Just flatten that. <laughs> wow, you did that fast. She did it like with her hands to get a circle. That's good. Yeah, I mean, something like that. I guess you're just a natural. Here's one cube. Let's see how this looks. So you're telling me every time I eat some sort of fried food, this is the process. This is quite a process. Oh my god, this is like play-doh. Okay, I'm about to make the best ball you've ever seen. My process is going to be to roll it into a firm ball so that all of it is kind of sticking together consistently. And then I'm going to use my thumbs to press it in, almost like a fingerprint if you were to get arrested for the murder of your fiancé for our life insurance policy. Um, <laughs> wow, that's beautiful! How flat did you get it before you put the cheese in? Just kind of like your flat. Like this? Yeah. Bits! Okay, so I'm rolling mine into a ball now. I've added in a cube of cheese. I can feel the cheese in here. Is that a good roll? You're quick. <laughs> that took you two seconds. I feel like this is too easy. I know, I'm confused. Know. There's something not going right because this is a little too easy. I don't know how I feel about this. 
This is actually kind of satisfying.、Though. Yeah, they look so perfectly circle. The dough is kind of fun to roll. Now I feel like the cheese donut is not that hard. Why don't we both make one and see each other's technique? I think I have better technique than you when it comes to using my. Wow! Look at how satisfying this is. I kind of want to just make more balls. Let's make corn dog first. Oh, okay. So why don't we each make a corn dog and、okay. then we do donuts? See, I'm about to get real technical with you. I'm about to make the best cheese corn dog. I'm gonna beat you. Okay, so this is seven grams of cheese. Seven grams. This right here, twenty-nine grams. Now do the math. <laughs> Seven plus seven is fourteen. Plus seven、so、is twenty-one. Plus seven is twenty. Okay, can I get some? Wait, hold on. You're messing me up.、Right、hold on,、now. hold on, hold on. Seven. I need sixty grams of dough. Twenty times four is eighty grams. Fifty-three <laughs> grams. Okay, that's perfect. So I think fifty-three grams is enough. Why? For a cheese corn dog. You also have to take into the calculation of each ball. Imagine this way, right? This is a math. Oh,、class. I get it.、Top、I get it. Top bottom. So I'm rolling the dough. That's a little extra, don't you think? No. Wow, it's going to be perfect. Yeah. Okay, so I wrap this cheese stick up. How are you doing the corners? Just like okay. So I flattened it. Now I'm going to wrap it. Okay, I'm going to put the stick all the way. In. Yes. Yes. That's a very small cheese dog.、Huh? Yeah. Oh no! I should have put the stick in first. Now it's kind of like wobbly. Ew. Um, man, I messed up here. How's yours looking? Looking good. I even got that Korean market style, the thingy at the end. They don't have that. They do. They don't have that. They have it. How's yours looking? Mine's pretty good. Yours looks like a spring roll. Show them. <laughs> 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 What does yours look like? Mine. Mine looks perfect. How much do you want for your donut? Doing donut now? Yes. I'm putting the antennas back. <laughs> These were here to frame my face, but you know what? Now they're gone, and a boiled egg has appeared. Maybe put it back. <laughs> I'm gonna start working on my donut. It's gonna be a cheese-filled donut. I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna work. I don't know how the cheese is supposed to bend in all of those directions in a 360 diameter circumference polyallogram Pythagorean theorem. But I think I'm smart enough to figure it out. Oh my god, your corn dog looks so good. I know. Looks like this is mine. This is hers. <laughs> Okay. okay anyways, how many grams would you like? Um, you go first. No. <laughs> I'm sick of you copying me. The challenge here is we gotta bend it into a circle, right? I know what I'm doing. I'm going to rip the string cheese apart and curl it around. Hmm. So I cut it in half, maybe a one fourth. So maybe we can do something like this, like this. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm about to add more dough to this because I realize this is not enough dough, not nearly enough dough as what I expected to use. I have 50 here. This is 85. Wait, why did I do that? Then I could just do 40 in each. I'm just gonna do 40 in each. Okay, so I have 40 in each, and then I'm going to cut it like this, or put it into a ball, and I'm gonna do what I learned with the dragon's beard candy, and I'm going to poke a hole into the middle of it to get it started into that donut shape. And I'm just gonna start pulling. You're doing some weird stuff. It's not gonna work. Okay, fine. I'm gonna redo it. So I'm, I'm thinking of creating、works. this type of system, so they kind of intertwine and it doesn't break. So in order to reach poke a hole, do that. I'm gonna do two doughs, and then I'm gonna roll it out into the length of this long. So I'm gonna poke a、Tiger. hole into a donut. And then maybe even flatten it out a tiny bit. Oh, this is just like arts and crafts. I know, and I suck at arts and crafts. What、so. are you doing? So now that I've got donut, I'm going to get some string cheese. Can I get some string cheese? So、okay. it's the same length. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread it open. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm ripping my cheese apart. Into thin slices, and I'm just embedding it into the middle of my donut. I'm just gonna take some time to do one string at a time. I'm gonna take my time to do this masterpiece. Now I'm gonna put one in each of them, like a little baby, and then I'm gonna put one right here. Suddenly my method feels so amateur. I'm so annoyed. I'm gonna. 
fold it up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in there. Yeah, put it in and then kind of close it up a bit. <gasps> I'm redoing everything. I just had a brain fart. Don't copy me. I'm not copying you. You're copying. I'm copy. not. I'm not. What do you mean? You thought of a better way? Yeah. So basically now I have this whole thing. What I'm going to do now is I will kind of fold it around and put this piece into this wrap and then kind of connect the outside wrap like this while I'm wrapping everything up inside into the dough. So now I have this. Wow, look at this. It looks like an onion ring, not a donut. <laughs> Salty. <laughs> and now I just gotta make sure the inside part is completely connected so no, nothing will break through. Oh man, this is kind of solid. Don't be jealous, but I got a donut. Holy moly donut, donut shop. Here's what I'm gonna do at this First point. Donut. I'm going to indent in my cheese a little bit. We're going to roll part of it up. I'm going to mend in all of the little cheesy parts, you see? Like the open parts. Now we're gonna roll, 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 roll. My only downfall from the last one mm -hmm. is I made the donut too long. So the circle was too hollow. <laughs> I will make sure that it's uh, much, much shorter. <laughs> That's my only downfall. Uh, I'm trying to make some smaller, more donut looking. Really? Right in front of my face right now when I'm struggling to make my first donut. That is a good donut. That is a real donut. Oh my god, this is perfect. Are you still working on your first one? Yes. I'm already done version two. Look at this. Shoving it in my face. I don't want to see your balls like that. <laughs> this is my like fourth time with the same dough. You know what? I'm gonna make something else. I don't need to follow your rules. I don't need to make a donut if I don't feel like making a donut. <laughs> oh yes, that is good. That's perfect. Oh wow, that is so perfect. You know it's perfect when it's like almost touching but not touching. And now you just kind of sew it together like this. I feel like I want to make more balls. Okay. I'm going to make a heart. What does that mean? Is this what it feels like to smack a flat bun? <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to flatten it out some more. <laughs> and then, from here, I'm going to add a triangle. I have this piece. That's going to be the top of the heart. Hey, the does this look dough. like a heart? Ew, there's cheese in the dough. You ruined the dough. Does this look like a heart? <laughs> This is so sad. <laughs> okay, okay. You ruined the cheese. There's you know like what? You ruined the cheese. You cut the cheese. You cut the dough. And I, I'm upset. I need to go back to the drawing board. Okay, so the temperature of this isn't supposed to be too hot. I think we're just going to get it to a good... The recipe says 320 to 340. And on this thermometer, it says 380 something is a deep fry. So I guess it's going to be a light fry for the balls. Just pulled it for a thumbnail. Look at how beautiful. It's so weird because the inside is like a cup. It's like a cup Can of I dough. Half, half? <gasps> so interesting. It's so fluffy. Mm-hmm. It's almost like a rice cake texture. Mm, it's not. Wait, are you supposed to put sugar on there? You can. I kind of want it with spicy ketchup, but that's just me. So he's putting sugar onto the tray. So this is what I think we should do. Okay. I saw them do this at the corn dog shop. So you kind of flatten it out. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> um, it's not sticking. Yeah. No. I don't know. I feel like sugar makes it look weirder. Oh, you think? Yeah. So should I not coat the sugar? Yeah, don't coat the sugar. But I like the sugar. But this one all have sugar. So then just keep going without the sugar. But I like the sugar. Okay. Can I try? But then I guess my opinion does not matter in this relationship. That looks good, no? <laughs> okay, cool. we're done. 
We are done, bitch. Okay, we are okay, going to set up for a mukbang. But let me know in the comments, what do you guys think of this recipe? Do you think it was super easy to do? And do you want me to make more Korean cheese donuts? Korean cheese balls? What else can I insert into them? What else can I inject with this doughy, airy fluffiness? And if you guys are interested in how it turns out, um, go watch my mukbang because I'm going to be eating all of these in it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments. And make sure to check out Juby, linked in the description with the discount code for 10% off. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi.